Yo, yo, Grand Rising YouTube family. New day, new opportunities, new goals. Same God we serving, same God that's blessing us. You already know God is the greatest, man. I'm stuck in, in traffic. I, I should have went my regular route. And uh, I'm in a different truck also. I'm in this big boy, like Amazon-like van. And uh, it's pretty nice though, smell nice, it's newer. Drives pretty fast on the, to the pedal, you know. Takeoff's impeccable. But uh, anyway, I say, you know what, instead of just being sh getting stressed out and worried about this traffic jam and oh, I gotta get to these routes at this certain time, I say, you know what, I'm gonna get there when I get there. It's a beautiful day, it's sunny, it's warm. Be grateful. Your boy, he woke you up today. He woke your family up. Look at my man, is he preaching the gospel? What is he saying? He got his microphone over there on the corner. I hope he is. Look like he was, amen. Um, you know, took took the daughter to school, and now every time I get ready to go in with her, I say, "Hey, baby, come on, let's uh, let's take a picture real quick." You know, took a picture with her, and then she gets uh, I gotta do that outside of the parking lot. As soon as we go in, she's like a whole different person. You know, she goes from eight, so I'm super older. You're embarrassing me, dad type mode. So. But no, nah, man, it's a beautiful thing watching your kid grow and develop into the, you know, the person that God wants them to be, you know, the child that God wants them to be. So, yeah, we did that. Went back to her mom's house and we uh, did some things and ran some errands. Took some shoes back that didn't fit me that I was so in a rush to get before the last weekend. And, uh, yeah, I don't see how y'all wear them Harachis. Feet be tight, ain't got no space. No space. It's just terrible. No space. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive like you know, Puerto Rico, Chicago. You got a bow guard. You take charge. You heard? But all right. Hey, um, so I just wanted to share this. I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? So yesterday, to show moral support, uh, went to the courthouse and, um, uh, so this is what my video is mainly about. So we go all the way to the 11th floor. And mind you, when we get in the elevator, it's like this bounty hunter dude. He could tell he, you know, he he, he worked he work for him. Buff had the best on. He's like, what floor are you guys going to? And he looked, he looked Latin. But then he sounded like, I don't know, he had an accent. So I don't know if he's from. Texas, or so I don't know where he was from. It sounded like he wasn't from from around here. He was like, "What floor are you guys going to?" And he told him, you know, "Eleven." He asked us, then he asked this other lady to let the excuse. Me. And uh, then I asked him. I got quiet. I was like, "What floor are you going to?" Because lately I've been in the mind frame when somebody asked me. What you doing? I'm like, what you doing? You know? Just hit them with their own question real quick. Where you coming from? Where you coming from? <laughs> Catch people off guard. Like, want to be nosy? Or... So he was like, I'm actually, he said, what did he say? He said he was going to the sixth floor. Like, okay. We're going to the 11th. Look at that. For y'all number number people so we go to the 11th floor 
we see who we see. I don't really, you know, I just acknowledge it. I don't sit down. I'm in awe because I haven't been in that courthouse in a while. I know probably last time I was there, I was paying a fine. That's on the main floor. So as I'm there, I'm on the 11th floor in the windows. Like, I was just in awe. I felt like a little kid at a candy store for the first time. I just see the whole city, you know? So I'm so in awe. Yeah, then I, I'm just walking around, just admiring the city. And it, and it wasn't as, it, it was a cloudy day, you know? <sighs> Excuse me. I ate too much this morning, forget me. And as I'm just looking down, you know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the buildings. Then I'm seeing like the highest buildings. I'm seeing the landscape to where like far out with like the trees. And I can already tell, oh, where the trees go, like what, what's what, oh, that's, that's that uh, township or, you know. And as I'm looking, I'm starting to see like, I got in my head immediately, I was like, this place is small. I'm like, this city I'm in is just small. I knew it was small. It's a small city. But just being so high up and you could see everything, just downtown, I should just say, and just, it just like, it put me in a perspective like, oh, she finna let me go. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. For real, for real. No, I'm supposed to be this. Oh, my God. We're going to make this work. I may have to skip a few spots, come back, and go to the main ones, because this is ridiculous. But anyway. So I thought to myself, it's small. There's such a bigger world out there. You know, I haven't traveled in a while. And when you do go to other cities or other states, you're like, wow, you know, people live different, talk different, the food's different, the, the air smells different, everything's different, the females treat you different, you know. Um, I want that feeling again, you know, I'm just so ready to travel. So then, while I was thinking like that, like, just being up there motivated me, you know? And then I'll say, then I start to think, like, is this how God, like, looks at us? You know, he up in the in the heavens. And, like, he looks down at his children. Like, you know, like, you just see people walking, carrying them on about their business, whether alone or in, 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 as a couple or in a group. I was just like, man, is this how God sees us? Like, like his creation? We just like, like I feel like we was just, I was just looking at ants, like, or another form of life. Like, forgive me, Lord. I felt like I was in your shoes for a minute. Just like, yeah, like he's pleased with them and he, what they doing? And they know better, you know? It's like I could see everything so high up at this altitude that was like, I don't know. I just like, I got a deep thought for a minute and it just kind of like, it's like I needed to be there. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't, at first, because who I went with, she had already been there for the moral support. You know, I went to show more and more support. She already had been there, I want to say twice. So that was my first time. And at the first time, like I was gonna go, but the parking meter, I didn't have coins. I had just had a car. And it wasn't taking my car for some reason. It wasn't set up like the newer ones that take take your uh your debit card or credit card you know it's more like the coin one. 
an older one, which it didn't work. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just drive around. I'll pick you. You call me when you're ready to get picked up, you know? So I kind of didn't want to go the second time or, or the, you know. But someone was telling me, like, go, go. That's what I feel. I feel like I had to go to experience that sight, that view, you know, to get that feeling. Like, there's so much more to life. Like, God was just telling me, son, like, I know you're ready to move. You're ready to move. Not like move, stay, move your family or, you know, but just like you travel, you know, go here, go there. Just for a quick moment or for a weekend and, or, or, you know, I want you to accomplish something in this city or in this state or witness something. And you always go come back, you know, to talk about it, to film it or just get to get an experience and, and come back and share it with your family. And, uh, yeah, man, so it was just, I don't know the word, like, I'm trying to find, like, a certain term or a word to describe it. It felt powerful up there. It did, powerful and, uh, mo- real motivating. But it was awesome, man. I can't. I'm glad I got to experience that. And come to find out, we got to go back up there because uh, you know how the court is. You know. It's just a delay. It's a process, you know. But, uh, and I told the person, you know, they, they were kind of like a little bummed out or, you know, it felt like their third time up there and like, hey man, it's in God's hands, you know, you just, uh, you can't control this, you know. Then he came over there and talked to me for a little while, we chopped it up, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say I was looking outside, looking out the windows for probably like a good 15 minutes, you know, 20 minutes, just in, in thought and concentration, just having visions for what I want to do, you know, so how just God, how God uses, you know, for being so high up. It's like, you never know who's watching you, you know, you don't know who's looking up, the watchers, the angels, God himself, you down there here on earth and just, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm either doing good or I'm, I'm committing a sin, out of sight, out of mind, can't nobody see me, can't nobody see me, not my wife, not my kids, not my, uh, my, my work colleagues, nobody can see me doing this sinful stuff that I low-key do. But guess what? (laughs) That man above can see it. He sure can. He's like, "Mm mm-hmm. Yeah. Watching your every footstep, your every move. Or if he ain't watching it, he's sending the angel to go ahead and, hey, keep tabs on him real quick and then report to me. Please and thank you. I'm telling you, man. But, yeah. I'm going to keep it short. I know it's not past 10, but that's what it was. Cool experience. Um, I'm just saying, oh, we, we ride now. Woo! Shout out to the 40s. We got the little flag. But, um, yeah. I just want to say that um, also real quick. Like, I'll confess, I was tested within the past, I want to say when the new moon occurred, which was what, we're in, I don't know when the new moon occurred, I want to say two weeks ago, I got tested by the flesh, you know, and I kind of went back, was going to go back to my old way where I tried something, and I'm like, 
was finna release. I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. And it was during witching hours, which I knew, but I was like, nah, yeah, right. So I'm like, didn't like doing it. I was like, nope, why well, go back? Resist it. I felt I passed. You know, I did. I passed that temptation. Then last week, well, over the, the break, I, uh, I hit a cartridge one time, you know, because I went with somebody, they just bought it and whatever, and I'm like, I taste that thing, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm like, man, look, give me a quick taste. All right. So, first time, didn't really, couldn't get nothing, so I'm like, second time, good gosh, started coughing my Man, look, I coughed so much that ran through my blood. Last time I smoked was probably like, yeah, end of March, maybe April, like once or twice, you know? It stopped in April, is all I know. But, uh, so yeah, it was a while. It was two, but I thought it was just five, you know? Five months. And man, when I tell you I had the giggles, like it happened so fast. It happened so fast, yo. That, uh. I was chilling with the person, was laughing. You know, the vibe, it was cool. But then what I didn't like, which I caught instantly, was I didn't have control of my mind. Like I was driving and I knew where I was. But it's like I was going in circles. You know, I don't like that feeling. So I was like, you know what? I'm straight. I'm good. I ain't gonna lie, I tried to hit it the other time the next day over there. They're like, nope. Like, after you repented and all that, you made me feel bad. I was like, you ain't have to feel bad. That was my choice. You dig what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, but still, I'm not. I was like, I appreciate that. But I was just joking, though, that second time, see what they was gonna say. You know? But, um,. Yeah, I don't miss none of that. That old stuff I used to do, my old ways, my old habits, I don't miss it. Nah, I like where God has me. I like to keep a sober mind. And uh, I like to be in control of my thoughts. And just, I like to have money in my pocket or saved up at the end of the day. You know, I have a lavish lifestyle. So, because I used to still have, you, you know, have a lavish lifestyle, but then support my habits. My habits were uh, cutting in the way of my lavish lifestyle. Not just me, meaning if I'm living lavish, so is my family, so is my daughter, so is my, my stepdaughter, so her, her mother, their mother, you know, like, you know, we eat, we, you know, having a good time, saving money, and it was just like, man, I'm good. That stuff take a toll on you. And I'm straight, and I don't have time for it, and I just thank God. I thank the Father of above for breaking me from them habits, not once, not twice. But like three times in my life, yo, for real. I thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father, for breaking breaking them strongholds off. And thank you for putting me through that temptation. Yup, that was you. I ain't, we ain't giving him no credit, putting me through that temptation to see if I was gonna fail or pass, which I still feel I passed all of I passed both of them. You understand? For that second one, I got a little heavy on me. I was like, man, what'd you... You know, but I was like, you know what? Don't be so hard on yourself because it's not like you. That's the thing. Getting addicted is a whole nother thing. And then going back to it and backsliding all the way and just, whoop, here we go. I'm doing it again, day by day by day. Nah. My conscience and my mind said, I don't miss that. I don't like that. I don't. So to me, that's a pass. Pretty much in my book. So don't, you know what I'm saying? We all fall short sometimes. But I, I'll tell you what. If you realize what you're doing, that what you used to do is not right, and you repent from it and don't like it, and you're like, you know what, I don't miss this, and God got it, then you're good. That means you on the right track with the Lord. Keep it up. Keep it up. Because that's, that's God giving you that free will. And like I say, the wickedness, principalities, and higher places that are over there working their little... They little foo foo uh, weak magic trying to get you to go back to your old ways and knock you off track because of the blessings that God has coming your way. Oh, man, I swear, yo, they right there. 
they right there, yo. What you've been wanting, what you've been needing, what you've been deserving of is right there, yo. Right there. I swear on everything. And you already know. You already know it's right there. Because he's been blessing you along the way. Just, man. Spiritual blessings, material blessings, the whole nine. You name it, you... What you deserve and what you speak into existence and what you, yeah, you shall receive. But you have to be obedient to him, period. Like I always say, you got to obey him, obey his commandments, and you have to devote yourself to him. You got to prove yourself, you know? You got to show that you're worthy and loyal to him in order for you to receive the blessings that he wants to give you. You understand? Because he gave us, a, he gave me or us some. A little bit of things and you know but then it's like it's one stronghold guy you know me and me in the flesh you know we sheesh you know he's like look man I told you stop doing that I told you stop doing that and you did it not once but twice you understand look at this delay but I got you stay loyal to me and I I, I got you my word is bond okay so yeah, man, stay prayed up. Be grateful, be thankful. We'll keep walking by faith, not by sight. Isolation. Uh, the discernment when you meet new people or even old people like family members or you, hey. Test that spirit is what I say all the time. Test that spirit. Because your spirit's being, your Holy Spirit's being tested. So therefore, yo, it's only right that you test other people's spirit. And I mean that. Test it. And they gonna know off rip when you test it into it. They brand new. They know what's up. Yeah. Man, shout out to all the chosen ones out there who I follow on YouTube. All the, man, these names. All, the, all, all those women, those ladies. And uh, my, my 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 queens and my kings, my kings and queens out there who are walking my faith, not by sight, and doing the Lord's work and spreading the truth, spreading the gospel, and just um, letting people know how awesome He is. You know, that yeah, man, He's a great, He's a good God, yo. He, he loves His children, and it's so good to serve Him. It feels like, man, your life is so much better, yo. You look better, you feel better. You breathe better. It's not easy, believe me. But when you just chill and relax and think and reflect, and you get to watch your kids grow and play or like smile, like man, that's or just even certain people who who you've been having issues with and you care about them so much that you're praying for them. And now you started like you've been praying for a while for them because you know they got some strongholds on them. And, uh, but you see the changes? Like, man, I was like, thank you, God. You're not doing it all like in one to take one pop. Well, that done hit me in my shin. Oh, we still, we still there. He's not, he's doing it in increments. He's starting with, you know, he's like, well, hey, what I prayed for, he didn't even, it was something else. I'm like, wow. Okay, you doing that? Let me go get this call. But hey, yo, love y'all. God bless y'all. Remember, put God first. And uh, all praise is due. Okay, love, peace, joy, and protection. Thank you. Peace.